morning. I'm Narelle. Hey. I'm Hanley Hofer. Hey guys, I'm Yumi Koskin and I am making a pre-loved luxury capsule wardrobe for Vestia Collective. Let's go. Now, a capsule collection is a selection of iconic pieces that you can style in a multitude of ways and you can create multiple looks with. Recently, I learned that consumers now have 60% more clothes than they used to 15 years ago. But they only keep them for half as long. Ever since I was a kid, my mom would always dress me up in hand-me-down clothes all the time. And I really, at the beginning, wasn't so into the second-hand thing until it started becoming very cool. The cool thing about pre-love stuff is that you can kind of dig back into the history and the archives of the brand, and you can find these pieces that, like, have gone out of production already. Some people may have the perception that pre-loved clothing is worn out, but actually that's not the case and I feel that pre-love fashion can be a challenge, you know, you're giving a new life, you're giving a new energy to um, old pieces. Whenever I go shopping for secondhand pieces, it's really rare that I find a designer piece. The thing I also love about luxury is that there is a lot of history and story behind it. So working with Vestiaire Collective on this capsule wardrobe, it was seamless and Piecing all the things together with my wardrobe already was so much fun. First thing that I thought of was outerwear jacket. I found this amazing Dries Van Noten coat here. And this piece is definitely something that I can shift into my wardrobe in different looks so many times. So this look, I wanted to go for athletic chic and then I've got that pop of colour with that gorgeous wallet. So I brought it down to a little bit more of a cool vibe here. I was so excited when I found this bucket hat on Bestia Collective. First of all, bucket hats are in ladies and it's not for old people. So I wanted to bring it down and make it cool by putting it into more of this hip hop look. So I went for a bit more of an eclectic look by playing again with the hat and matching it with the stripes. And uh, hey, I'm a little bit of a cat lady, so that bag is perfect to carry my cat around. So with the jacket pant, I really liked that it was like baggy and it had this kind of like rough and tumble boyish vibe. The spangled blue outfit is a cat print, silk bottom. I matched it with a tight top. And then I threw on a nice denim jacket just so I could have an obsessively blue look. So then I found this really good Givenchy pinstripe blazer and I mean you always want to have a good blazer in your wardrobe that you can throw on when you want to just up your look a little bit. Yeah then I saw this amazing LV boot and it was my size and immediately I knew that it was meant to be mine. <laughs> After that I found this like lime green neon top and then I was like ooh I look like a Powerpuff girl and so that <laughs> was it. This jacket was the first one that I picked out. To me, anything grungy or punky is generally what I gravitate to. The first one, I call it like casual chic. This one's a little bit sexy. It's um, a little elegant. I'd wear this to dinner. I'd maybe wear it to a second date. Maybe not first date. So I chose a scarf because I love how many ways you can play with it. The first look, I'd probably wear that outdoors to a market or even just to brunch. But the second look that I created with the scarf was that I tied it around my body and made it into a tube top. Now this look, I'd probably wear to a party or to a music festival. So I tied the scarf around the handbag. I feel like even though your outfit is a little understated. You can always jazz it up with a loud piece. 